of the city called the city of refuge oh thank god the voices of those you are hearing are the voice of the people who are washed and sanctified by the blood of the land they run their race with passion and determination and with absolute trust for he that called them was able to see them through Oh, thank God. That is good. So, my eyes have seen the glorious city. And my feet finally touched the ground. So, let me go in and see my colleagues over there. Not yet, Glory. You are too fast. Your eyes have not seen the city, neither has your foot touched the ground of the home of refuge. Rather, you are at the gate, and no one enters the city without being properly examined at these gates. Glory, why did you turn back from the race that was set before you, and decided to go back to the city of vanity? If you are in my shoes, what will you have done? I lost my husband because of this race. I lost my only surviving son because of this race. If you were in my shoes, what would you have done? Your husband and your son didn't die. They are alive forever. Watch. Wow! See that? That's right. Don't touch them. You can go back.
glory. What did you say stopped you from running the race that was set before you? Afflictions, trials, temptations, and persecution. Excuse me, beloved. I overheard somebody talking and giving excuses how she turned and went back from her race because of trials, temptations, and afflictions. That is why I came out to see who was talking. My sister, I am Job of old. We have been hearing and reading apart from the Holy Scripture. Listen, there is no trial or temptation that comes on your way that is capable to make you to turn back from this race. Why I was on this race, I encountered so many trials, temptations, and afflictions. I lost all my children in one day. I lost thousands of cattle and the chiefs in a day and so many trials, temptations and afflictions. I looked for an encouragement from brethren. No single person encouraged me to continue. In our own time, we don't have the Holy Spirit as you have in your own time. My wife, oh, even my wife was a discouragement to me. Yet, I persevered and held on till the end. I didn't look back. So my sister, you are inexcusable before God. My dear child, I need not tell you of my experiences when I came to the world for the salvation of mankind. And so, I agree, you are inexcusable. Today, I weep. I regret to say, you have no place in my father's kingdom. Oh my Lord, have mercy on me. Depart. Please, Lord. Depart, you walk out of iniquity. <laughs>
не клади, ты не I can see the gates of heaven open wide, and the angels of the Lord are here to welcome you. I don't think I can continue. sin that the death of the righteous is not the end of his life Thank you. but he will definitely wake up to a better life to a life full of celebration in the kingdom of my father you. you're Jesus. welcome Thank your you. tears shall definitely be wiped away no more pains no more sorrow oh take right. your Jesus. arise remind of the king take my place die for me and set me free Oh, am I to desire such a meditative favor? Thank you, Lord. You're welcome. Thank you, Father, You're for your love. You're welcome. You're welcome. Lord, You're I welcome. thank you, Lord. You're welcome. I am grateful, Lord. You're welcome. I am grateful, Lord. You're welcome. Thank you, Lord. I'm tired. How am I sure there is a place called the city of refuge? Hush! Is it not better for me to go back? I don't think I can continue. I think I will go back. Jesus! No. Jesus, no! Sister! Sister! 
from that water. For it is a joke. Just a little more patience. You shall get to the city of refuge. And when you get to that city, the king of that city Shall quench thirst in every soul. Remember, he that overcome shall drink from the water of life that flows in the garden of the city. He said that this water is evil, but we should be here at once. Let's go, let's go. Amaram, no mention, no so. 